going on guys t to the m to the i d d back with another video and this time i told you 2021 is all about versatility it's the year of versatility so i'm bringing a video today based on and for all my cinematographer filmmakers this is the pictor zoom lenses by dzo film so we're going to get into this do an unboxing and let's see what's inside okay guys so you can see the lenses that we have here is the 20 to 55 pictor zoom and also the 50 to 125 pictor zoom now if we take a closer look you can see that we have the f-stop we have the zoom and the ideal reason you would want to use one of these lenses is to be able to capture moments we all know that action happens instantaneously so in the split second something can happen and you miss it because you have to change your focal length and you have to pull focus again so this allows you to remain in focus at any focal length on this particular lens would be from 50 to 125 and this one 20 to 55 now this particular package is from Adorama it runs about five thousand dollars now that is a good price considering how much other cinema lenses cost for you know typical cinema rigs so if you're just looking to start out or you're, you're on a budget this is probably the way that you want to go so inside this we also have two pl mounts that come on and you can actually see the pl mount on this one already because it has not been adjusted for the ef and then with this particular it, uh, box it comes with two ef mounts and the ef mount is for the cannon and so we're going to pull an example shot on this 20 to 55 with the ef mount on a canon c200 and we want to use a disclaimer we have shims here and these shims you actually use to help calibrate these lenses so that when you do try to use power focal it is actually pristine so the calibration is a little uh, uh, I'll say a, a, maybe a little wonky not a one but should give us what we need to show the difference between these lenses versus your typical lens that you could get with a, a, a Canon setup in our case so we have the shims here that you would use to to calibrate these lenses and then a support and basis screwdrivers supporting rods screws and you also have a bayonet that helps you change the mounts so let's take some example shots and what we're going to use is this 20 to 55 and we're going to compare that to a 24 to 70 canon lens and you should be able to see that when we go from 20 to 55 on this lens that we don't have to refocus again we're going to use a, a little disclaimer that the calibration isn't completely a1 but you should be able to see the difference when we show the 24 to 70 
the uh, how much you do have to refocus that. So let's go ahead and get into that portion. So we are getting the test. May need a little bit more calibration, folks, but you know, it'll be good enough to show some of the quality. So here we have our first setup, which is the Pictor Zoom, and we are changing the focal length from 20 to 55. And you can see that there is no refocusing required when he goes from 20 millimeters all the way to 55 millimeters. This is 4K resolution on the Canon C200 with 24 frames per second. And as he zooms out, you can see that there is no refocusing. So this is the great thing about par focal lenses. Now you will see a difference in the second setup that we have, which is a Canon 24 to 70 uh, millimeter lens on the same C200 setup. So we have the raw and the color graded right beside it. Refocus. Yeah, refocus a little bit. Man. So you see the difference. Sure so what, on, man? Well, what will be a, a prime example of why why you would want to have, par focal? have the par focal. Give so you won't real, miss anything. Give us a real life scenario. If you're documentary shooting okay. and you out in the field and okay. you on the gig and you're shooting and they telling you something and then you know they might be maybe putting up a bird nest or uh -huh. hammering the bird nest. You might be able to wide when you want to see the whole table and they start hammering then you want to zoom in and still so you can get, get that it. hammer. Yeah, so you can just zoom in. Oh yeah. And you but won't not, miss anything. Not have to refocus. Yeah, and then you miss the especially shot. say if you're doing interviews, you know, documentary, and somebody start to cry, you want to get that slow zoom in, oh, yeah. and not have to pull focus. Oh yeah. Here is a comparison shot between the two lenses, and this just sums up the difference between the two, and the beauty in having the par focal lens uh, for your cinema or filmmaking. Then if you want to zoom in, so you get off focus. Yeah, pull it back. Yep. So we got it. This this is why. For all all the cinematographers, all the filmmakers, this is the the budget. The budget the budget lens. So luckily I don't have to buy it. I can just come steal it, you know? <laughs> 